keep filming, dude. What's that? Is that a pig's head? What? Is that a piglet? Is that a lamb or a piglet? It's a pig. Medium size. Yeah, and that's the ribs on top. That's all from what people eat that part of the well, that's just to, to, for display. Is that no, smoking? No, that's, that's, that's ribs, so it's um, baby back ribs and belly ribs together. It looks yeah. like a suckling pig, though, it's really small. It's medium size, so a suckling would be 10 to 12 kilos. This is 26, and they're worth six months at slaughter, aren't they? These ones, this one's about five and a half. So there's a younger middle white, they're kind of like a pug. Looks like go. a dog, eh? Yeah, you think that looks like a dog? Yeah. You think that looks like a top? Like no. a staff shit. Do you have a staff? Have you no. heard of those staffies? No, it looks Sorry. Yeah, it's a bit of That's a controversial weird. one. <laughs> what, have people been saying anything about that? I just saw a woman behind you horrified. Yeah. But no, it's um we had the whole we had the whole pig on there earlier today. The whole pig? Uh, yeah, with um obviously you had him and then we boned the whole thing out, so it was like a porchetta all the way through with the head on the end and the legs at the other end. And we stuffed it with fennel. Uh, chili, white wine, like classic Italian. Yeah, yeah. And you could just slice right through it. Like a roast, but a whole roast with all the um, trimmings that people don't see, eh? Exactly. That turns people off seeing a head like that, eh? It does, but certain people. It turns other. It turns the kind of people we want are the ones that love it and accept yeah. that that's that animals. Animals okay, make meat. That's animals as are as being killed in that. Every every sausage buying a supermarket had a head at one point and that's we've just got the head on the bob yeah. do you think people are disconnected from the process sir in most oh, most people are disconnected that's, eh? the big, that's, that's one of the big problems right now it's not big ribs actually no the head yeah. not the ribs no there's like a big skull it's quite different from the cranium of a dog uh, have you seen a normal pig skull they're yeah. like this is a rare breed yeah oh uh, yeah i worked on a on an organic farm in canada so i worked on butchering up a pig as you butchered the pigs on the farm or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't be responsible enough to um, accept the fact you're eating an animal and almost embrace that and make sure, and then obviously then you start embracing that and you start looking into where the animal's from and you start being responsible for the life of the animal that creates the meat you eat. If you're not going to be responsible for that and if you're just going to turn a blind eye to it, then that's how the factory farming and all of the of massive industrial they get away with what they happened. get away with because no, no one, one wants to look no one looks into it no one wants to see it yeah the classic ross cobb cross chicken that you have now is it's like meat on legs it doesn't they've got horrendous every single statistic about these chickens is wrong like they're, they're breaking their legs they can't support they can't their weight six up. weeks old and they're ready for slaughter they're still chicks they're really similar to dogs though eh, pigs um i guess in terms of like their intelligence reasonably intelligent yeah, yeah. Interesting. If that was a dog, though, people would be freaking out, eh? Uh, that was a dog. Yeah, it's a cultural difference, but I would. I don't suppose I'd be massively against eating a dog if it was raised in the right way. So, yeah, but people don't question it. People are like, people want to peek and get their answer they want. They go, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, well, I'm good. I'm they don't want to know, though. Then they got their peace of mind. They don't want to see that. No, but we. Every, that, every, do you reckon? Wait, every so, animal slaughtered in the world's got a head. Yeah, you know? I know. And then, so, so they're, they're ignorant to where their food's coming from, and if they saw a slaughterhouse, they'd be probably turned off. Or Linda McCartney said, um, if slaughterhouses, slaughterhouses had, well, had glass walls, we'd yeah. all be vegetarian. But I'd like to think that people are responsible enough for the meat they're eating and the, the meat that they're supporting wouldn't be like that because they understand exactly where it's what, what about kids and stuff do you think they would want to eat like ham sandwiches if they seen like pigs little baby piglets getting no. slaughtered i don't think i think it's awful that the default option for every human being in the world is to eat terrible meat and it takes it takes quite a lot to either start really looking into it and picking the right meat for yourself or or going vegetarian or going vegan that that's the decision what's this one uh, I thought that said um, meat fire, but it says uh, from carcass to grill. Rare breed. Interesting. Do you think everyone can eat this this high end rare breed? Do you think that's sustainable for the population? Well, you're going, you, that's where you got to look into carcass balance. <clears throat> so 100 years ago, that was the only option because people the factory farming wasn't invented. World War One, World War Two invented factory farming. Why did they invent factory farming? To feed the population. To meet demand. 
classic quote is uh, they called it a necessary evil. When a necessary evil isn't necessary anymore, what's left? Yeah. So you, you agree we don't need to eat meat to be healthy or to thrive as a species? Or No, I think, um, I think you look at humans are obviously developments of the, what we are today through eating meat and obviously we've adapted to eating cooked meat more yeah. since and there's a lot of arguments to say cooking is what makes us made us human set us apart you know yeah. so cooking, cooking like all different types of food just increased our calorie content didn't it yeah yeah, yeah. and we're cooking meat and then you know we shortened our intestines we can stand up straight things like that our brains develop more because we're spending less of our energy on digesting raw meat yeah. And raw vegetables as well, like. And raw vegetables, obviously. We, we yeah. weren't just meat eaters, were we? No, we're obviously omnivores. Do you believe that we need to eat meat as a species, or do you think it's. Because we obviously need factories to meet the demand for 7 billion people, don't we? Otherwise, we just logistically couldn't, could we? Could we grow enough grass fed beef for the whole population on Earth? I think then you've got to look at carcass balance. A lot of it is carcass balance, so. If everyone's chicken breasts and ribeye steaks, then no, you can't do it. What about pork in, in uh, the UK? It's like 90% of pigs are factory farmed, aren't they? In the UK? I don't think so. Yeah. I, don't th I thought in the recession, a lot of factory farms shut down because there were such fine margins. Ah. And uh, we have a lot of outdoor reared pork. Nah, rarely. Very rarely in the UK. 90%. You just check that up, bro. I love looking into it. Yeah. Um, love reading up on it. So, well, but it's just like if we've got 66 million people in the UK, like we've got to meet the demand of flesh somehow to them. And do you think, you know, how is that possible? You know, eat better meat less often. Less. That's the obvious answer. Eat yeah. less. Yeah. You don't need to eat meat every day. You don't need to. You don't need to eat meat every meal. No. If you're going to eat meal, if you're going to eat meat, you've got to be. You've got to choose a sustainable, ethical option with it. What about? Do you have you ever killed an animal yourself? Do, do you kill your own animals or? Uh, no, I work for a farm in North Yorkshire. Yeah. I'm a butcher. Yeah, um, butcher. I don't slaughter them. I don't slaughter them myself. No, but I, I. It's very hard to get into an abattoir, especially even for work experience. I've know? been in one. Have you? Yeah, yeah. They gave me a tour. Um, so they have to go into the centre of the skull with that, yeah, um, right it, here. It varies. You can show on my head. That's okay. So it would be about here. Okay. Yeah, she was like, but she was like the most high-end abattoir in the UK. But really? she shut down. She she lost business because people just didn't want to pay that much. So yeah, humane it's... dog meat. Would you eat it? Yeah. But it's not not especially widely available. Would you kill the dog? Uh, yeah. I mean, if I was going to eat it, I think I would. Yeah. I've I've killed animals before that I want to eat. Yeah. What if you had a different option? Would you still kill the dog? A different option in what sense? Like, would you kill it out of a survival or just kill it because you wanted to taste them, just eat them? Uh, do you need a specific reason to do it or just would do it because of? Uh, it's interesting, but I don't, I don't really foresee a survival of, uh, situation where you've got a dog, a dog presenting. Yeah, but like, I can't see a bolt uh, thing in the middle of that. They wouldn't have bolted this pig. Do you reckon gas chamber? Uh, no, it's electric stun. Electric stun and normally. stab, yeah. Electrics, yeah, electric stun. Like they that. can't bolt to me because they're just like. Um, they, 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 their head's too small. A bolt would. Yeah, shatters their brain. Would make a massive mess. So, bolt guns are obviously normally for cattle. Yeah, okay, cows. Um, for lambs and sheep, for lambs and pigs and sheep and mutton. Stun and stab. It's, it's um, electrocution. Have you seen gas chambers before? Like, in the What's third of the pigs in the UK are gas chambered. Have you been to the? To, to stun them. Yeah, so yeah, CO2 stunning. There's one in Manchester. I've seen, I've, I've, I haven't seen him in person. Crazy. Joey, mate. Hello. Yeah, mate. mate. I've watched you a lot on TV, mate. Honestly, you're one of the people who changed me completely. I've really? come over to you and talked to you. We, yeah, <laughs> what's honestly. your name, brother? No, mate, I can't believe I've just seen you. I've been watching you for the last two years. You really? You changed my life, honestly. Really? Absolutely fantastic. What's your name, dude? You. Liam. Liam. South Wales, honestly. South Wales. Yeah, I, I've been watching you on TV, watching you on YouTube. I think you're fabulous, mate. You're I've a got legend. A of you. you're, no, let's a have legend. a photo. You are a legend, Because I guess they can stun more. Yeah. Like, because they can chuck three or four in the in the chamber and they lower them down. Because they thrash in that, you know, pigs in gas chambers. I'll show you. There's a couple of guys in um Australia left cameras in there, eh? So they go in that. It's like a called a gondola. It's like a big Ferris wheel, and they lower them down. Yeah, because the heavier gas. The gas is down the bottom, yeah. Yeah. And when they hit it, they just start losing it. Yeah. And they rip, sometimes they rip their legs off in there because they're just fr trying to get escape at the bottom. So the That's guy true. comes and cl cleans all the trotters out. Are you a vegan now? I'm like, I would say 
99.9% only because if I'm drunk, I sometimes make a couple of mistakes. Uh, so I'm like flat out. Apart from that, when I'm not drinking, I make stupid mistakes. What, what do you mean by mistakes? What is it? So I may end up, I don't know, have cheese and chips or something crap like that. Cheese and chips but, and like... Yeah, okay. but 99.9% but you, in your heart, time. you believe in the principle oh, of, of anti-violence. Oh, yeah, so you're, you're, you believe in the philosophy, so you're a vegan oh, that way. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying constantly on the WhatsApp group with the boys, to constantly trying to push You just it, get so drunk and f*** up here and there, oh, grab some chips nothing. and not thinking. Yeah, yeah, nothing. But 99.9% of the time, flat out. But trying to change the minds of my friends. Hard, hard that's work. That's a difficult thing. On the WhatsApp group, the boys, just none of them, none of them have it at all. Like, just show them my channel? Yeah. Um, I've, oh mate, I inundate them with all your videos. The same as no Dr. Gregor. Gregor, yeah. Because you'd be getting that in that health argument with them, uh, eh? Mate, Protein all, and... All the time, mate, uh, all the time. But people need to be more aware of what they're putting. They're just mindlessly consuming without Absolutely. knowing the implications. It shouldn't be the default to eat bad meat. It should be... It should be the default to eat normal meat like our grandparents and great-grandparents ate. And factory farmers... Well, shouldn't exist. You want a world without factory farming? Is that because of yeah. ethical reasons or just because of the bad quality of produce? Ethical reasons. Ethical. I, I think it's awful. Like, um, What's awful about it? Factory, factory farming. farming. Like, um, what? The animal welfare. The, just... the, I think one of the worst problems with it is, is how uh, natural instincts are bred out of animals. Yeah. Um, you look at chickens, they don't even... They don't even know what it is to be a chicken anymore. You look at how ancient Greeks wrote about chickens, they're the most proud maternal animals in the whole world. And now They can't exhibit natu natural behavior and stuff like that. No, it's just five freedoms. So if an animal can't exhibit the five freedoms, then... What are they? Um, freedom to express natural behavior, freedom of move... Movement, bodily autonomy? Yeah. But, um, two things that changed me, my daughter was born and her, her favourite toy was a Peppa Pig toy. Yeah. So then you, I'd seen you making connections with like animals, you're saying her favourite toy is a pig, Yeah. but yet you're eating bacon, it don't make sense. Yeah. You're saying, what the hell is that about? Yeah. And also I got a bulldog and he grunts like a pig. Oh so my God. between my daughter yeah. who loves pigs, he grunts like a pig. You start to think, hold on, this is the same right here, that you're paying for pigs to be killed, but then your daughter loves a pig, your dog is like a pig, it's like, this don't make sense Brother, at all, and it's completely Have you it. seen this? Oh, yeah. so these are ex-dairy cows they're cooking I on know, the grill. I know, I know. But come over here, you, know, this this conversation here about the pig dog, yeah, I want yeah, you to yeah. tell me what this pig looks like. Because I was like, dude, like, this pig looks like a dog, over here. I'll show you. Bodily autonomy is an interesting one, though. Like, bo like the freedom to have liberty over your own body and not be enslaved and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Because it's interesting how being against factory farming, like a lot of people are morally against it, but mo where's most of the meat coming from? So most people are consuming factory farm flesh, but they're morally against it. But they're in their I don't, mind. I, they... No, I think a lot of those people don't even think about it, they don't even want to think about it. Yeah. Do you reckon it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like a pig, does it? It looks like a dog. It, it looks, it looks, it's an animal, isn't it? So it looks yeah. terrible anyway, regardless. Would you ever think of eating a plant-based diet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I always, I, I always think if I can't get a hold of the meat that I know I can source and yeah. I know it's from and I know it's had a good, uh, good life and it's lived longer because it's a rare breed. You know, what about that death, dude? Like, the life is one thing, but what about the murder, the death, the killing, the stabbing, the, the shocking? That's not a th an issue for you? So you look at different arguments, so... Yeah. Um, what I think is, it's what Hugh Fernie Winston calls the trade-off, so you've given them a uh, predator-free life and they've lived a very happy life. Six months. Well, it depends on, it obviously depends on the breed and the species. It's interesting because like we'd need a survival yeah. situation to kill and eat a dog, but yeah. we don't need survival situations to kill and eat yeah, these I animals. I understand what yeah. you're doing. You're trying to compare a pig with a dog and then trying to see what's, very the, similar. what's the difference in logic or why you might eat one. And even in looks. Like, yeah. I eat beef that's eight, nine, ten years old um, compared to under 30 months, which is the normal. So the normal half a life. Do you think that then justifies killing him if we know you can be plant? You said we can be healthy, and we know he can eat plant-based, and you know, you know that that can be viable too. Do you think that's the, the most ethical decision? I think humans, the world will never go completely vegan. No. So I think it's best to push a much better way of way of eating meat and then try and persuade people that don't eat meat that way to twit to change that way to yeah. then increase animal welfare yeah. keep rare breeds alive 
Yeah, do all this stuff. Yeah. Do you think this looks like a pig or a dog? A pig. A pig? But the nose is kind of like, you know, pigs' noses are usually wide. It's like really. Sh it's because it's cooking. Like a like a staffy. Do you have staffed shears here? Like a, a staffy? Staff, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a staffy. Staff shoe bull terrier. So it's, like, it's so interesting how different culture mm. dictates which yeah. animals are food and which are to be cared for, but there's really no moral difference when you look at them intrinsically, like yeah. within them. Yeah, no, I think that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Nice talking to you, mate. Eh? Right. Yes, Take care. Right. I'll give you this card, dude, because um, we do this thing. It's uh, on Facebook. It's called a Vegan Challenge. Go yeah. 22 days. It's, it's free. Yeah. yeah. You can give yourself. See how you go. See if you can complete it. Cheers, brother. That's Land of Hope and Glory. Um, that was all filmed recently in the UK inside farms and abattoirs. All those statistics that I told you, they're, they're on that page and you can verify them if you want. No worries, brother. Take care. I don't know how you could not look at that skull and not see a dog. It looks exactly like a staffy, like a little pit bull. Kind of looks like my dog Nugget's head. My, my brother's dog. Let's go into the Dirty Vegan and ask him. We let her. Come in, we'll see what they say. Nah, he just said I can't interview people. He's our friend. Yeah, I'm the one who's kicked out of that festival. <laughs>